Hmm. Hi everyone, I'm Ben, and this is the Board Game Blueprint. On this week's episode, we're going to revisit one of the first segments we ever did, Grab Bag Goodies, and I'm going to do right by you, the viewers. You've spoken, I have heard, we're going to show the full grab bag this time around, and we're going to actually pour them out on the table next over. When we do that, we're going to talk a little bit about how these pieces can be used, just like before, but this time around, I think I'm going to try to make up a game with some help. How we're going to do that, I'm not quite sure. Maybe just on my own this time. We'll figure it out, but for now, let's see what's inside. Feast your eyes, everyone. Here's a closer look at this week's grab bag. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just pour them out here. You kinda see a bunch of different things already. Oops, it would help if I had them in the camera view. Here we go. And let's see what we have. An assortment of different materials and colors, of course. Let's see, a little bit closer, here we go. And let's see if we can zoom in a little bit too. All right, first time we're ever trying filming this way. Here we go, and I'm gonna just slide the camera over a little bit. Perfect. Now, the first thing that caught my eye, and I'm sure it was for you too, was this orange ninja. I think this will be somehow a figure, a boss, or maybe even a first player token for the game that we're about to design. A little less original, but how can you contest against something like this? Now, we also have paper money, and I have a pretty neat idea I'd like to think about how to use these, which is not in the standard money sense. We got 20s and 50s, but that won't really matter too much for what I have in mind. Let's see, we also have an assortment of wooden pieces, like this key, orange, this truck, natural, and this wooden die, also natural. That's a, that's a keeper right here. Let's see, and whatever else. We have a couple other wood bits, like these ingots in gold and a nice blue. There's this wooden pawn almost figure. I don't really know exactly what to call it, but it is a standard just kind of standing piece like so. It could be a knob of some kind. How you would incorporate that into the design, I'll leave up to you. But we also have our meeples from before, our little uh, clothespins. This time one in green and one in yellow. And we also have our little fart cloud as well. Awesome. Oh, and there's a little splat to go with. Okay, let's see. We have a number of these tokens. I don't really know what material they are. I think they're a, a plastic mostly, but it's kind of like a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The Game Crafter has, it's uh, not a mixed component, but a, uh, oh, I can't think of the name. I'll, I'll put a little note in there later. Well, we have a number of colors too, purple, red, yellow, and then even an orange one down here. We have plastic uh, poker chips, which are nice, and then we also have this red wink. Uh, these could be used maybe uh, for the ninja to be stepping across, like walking or running on water. Oops. That could be pretty neat, like that. And we also have, when I showed my brother this farmer piece, he asked if it was Yoda, which is pretty awesome because these could be the ears and that could be uh, cane. Uh, so maybe you'll have to design something together uh, that uses this piece in that way, a little Star Wars homage. But we have a couple other plasticky things here. Uh, these are pawns that I have used in another prototype of mine. This is a wooden uh, chevron, which could be a roof, could be an arrow. And uh, in a friend's design, Troy's design, he actually used them as a shield. He just kind of set it up like that, which was pretty ingenious if you ask me. Oh. And one other really neat couple pieces here. Uh, we have a die with letters on it. So that could be really interesting. Maybe the ninja has to uh, use a word that starts with that letter. We also have this cool, I think it's a cultist monk. I forget what it's listed as on the Game Crafter, but it looks pretty darn sweet. Let's see if we can actually get the camera to focus on them. Yeah, very, very cool and eerie. And then we have these bowling pins, okay. Pretty standard stuff. Maybe we could use the dice to knock them or just go right through. And we also have this boat, which could be, I don't know, uh, spikes of a trap, maybe. So we'll see what we can cook up in a little bit. And we're back. This is 
a couple of those pieces that I pulled out together for a prototype. Now to go into a little bit more detail, if you recall some of that paper money from before, we had that green and kind of orange, I've gone ahead and with the kind of ninja Japanese theme, turned them into origami pieces. Probably if there was a future for this game, uh, origami pieces would not be a mass producible component, but I gotta say for something for your private use, uh, they are pretty nice and I think offer a lot for the effect of the game. The theme of the game can really come through with that. So we turned the orange into lotuses and we've turned the green into a ninja star. If these were the players, standardly, the pawns and uh, these kinds of other pawn pieces that I'm gonna call flags, you'll be sailing your boat around onto these blue tiles and then picking up one of these resources, uh, one of these paper components. So again, the lotus or the ninja star. The way that I kind of see things happening though is that the collectibles, the paper components are points or things that you can collect for points. Maybe the lotuses um, you can chain together to double your score at the end of the round with the turn marker, that ninja that we talked about from before, passing between the two players. The bowling pins, however, are a composite material. That's the word that I was looking for before. And I kind of was thinking that maybe the materials could help inform the design and the rules. So these kind of statuesque pieces are just that, stationary, immovable objects that you want to probably end the game towards at some point. The blue pieces are water, kind of as we went over before. The ninja star could be used for some kind of player versus player element. Uh, maybe you can destroy one of the other players' points. Really curious to see, or to hear, or to read, what maybe some ideas that you could come up with about these pieces are. Let us know what the story is that's unfolding in your head about this prototype. Or if you have some cards that you'd like to contribute or create an entire offshoot of this, would love to hear more about it. Not too bad, huh? I hope you enjoyed this episode and that it sparked a little bit more inventiveness, creativity, originality in how some of these standard components can be used in hopefully a couple new ways that you hadn't considered before. If you liked it that much, you can give us a thumbs up and a subscribe to this channel for our upcoming content. I'm Ben. This has been another episode of the Board Game Blueprint, and together, let's build something great.